In this video, we are going to look at installing and configuring Windows Server 2016. We're going to first create a standard image for our virtual machines. Then we're going to create several virtual machines for projects within the lab. The first thing you'll want to do if you haven't already is download the Windows Server 2016 Data Center ISO. You can download this from Microsoft. I've displayed the link on my screen. It'll also be available in the description of this video. The next thing you'll want to do is download and install a trial of VMware Workstation 14 Pro. Next we're going to open VMware Workstation. From VMware Workstation, right click on My Computer and choose New Folder. You can name this whatever you'd like, I'm going to name it Class. Next go to File, New Virtual Machine. I'm going to choose Typical Configuration, click Next, click Browse for the installer image, choose the image you downloaded previously, click Next. Go ahead and click Next on this screen, tell it yes you'd like to continue. We're going to change the name from the default to Master, and I'm going to change the save location to a drive on my computer that has a little bit more storage space. Click Next, change the disk size from 60 to 80, then click Next. Finally, let's do Customize Hardware, change the processors from 1 to 2, and change your memory from 2048 to 4096, and then click Finish. The machine is automatically going to boot, and it's going to prompt you to install Windows. We can close the message on the virtual printing feature is globally disabled. Okay, on here you're going to want to choose Windows Server 2016 Data Center Desktop Experience. It's important you pay attention to this because once you select it, you're not able to change it. So you cannot switch between GUI and core based after you've installed the operating system. That's important to remember because previously it was possible to change the installation. I'm going to pause the video and resume it once the setup has completed. The VM will automatically restart and upon rebooting, it will install VMware tools for you. Okay, so after VMware Tools installs, it's actually going to reboot. Once it comes back up, we're going to look in Server Manager and make some changes to help us uh, more quickly copy our virtual machines from this image.
let's go ahead and view our VM full screen. So go to view full screen. Server managers coming up here in just a second. All right, once server manager is opened, I'm going to unpin the command bar and then we're going to click on local server. Let's go ahead and turn off IE enhanced security configuration. Let's go ahead and perform Windows updates. That way we're on the latest updates. And you'll probably need to click on check for updates. And we might have to do this a couple times before the services are running and it actually reaches out to Windows update. While we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and open control panel. And this is not recommended, but we're going to turn off the Windows firewall to make some things we're going to do here in a minute a little bit easier. So we're basically going to create a lab environment within VMware Workstation. All right, we can see those updates are finally starting to roll in. I'm gonna pause the video and resume once they've downloaded and actually installed. You're prompted to restart after the updates have been installed.
So after your machine has updated, let's go ahead and check it for updates again. Okay. You may have a couple more updates. If not, just shut down the VM. So let's go ahead and just do start shutdown. And you can just choose other planned and click continue. Okay, once your machine has shut down, let's actually drag it into the folder we created earlier. So once you've right clicked, let's go to manage and click clone. Click next. And we want to take the current state. Click next again. And we want to create a full clone. And we're going to call this one DC1. And we're going to store it under a new folder called DC1. And then click finish. So it's going to go in and copy the virtual hard disk files. It'll have all the updates. It'll have the few settings that we applied. That way we can work independently without messing with our master image. So I'm going to pause it until this process completes. Okay, so once your clone has finished completing, you can go ahead and click close. So you'll notice that you have DC1. We're going to drag that up under class. And then we're going to do the same thing again with our master. We're going to right click and do another clone. So manage clone and current state, and we're gonna create a full, and we're gonna call this one FS01 for file server 01. And we're gonna save it the same way we did the other one, new folder, and click finish. Once your clone has finished, let's go ahead and click close. And we're going to do this one more time. And we're going to call this machine FS02. Okay, go ahead and click close. And we're going to move FS02 up to the class folder. And that concludes the video for this lesson. In the next lesson, we will be sysprepping these machines and creating snapshots.